In this question, a student has a sample of an unknown solution. They measure the concentration of hydrogen ions, H+, as 3.16 times 10 to the power of negative 6 molar at 25 degrees C. Our goals are to figure out the pH and the pOH and determine is the solution acidic, basic or neutral. Let's head to our reference sheet. Here we have our equations for pH and pOH. We were given the concentration of H+, so here we can see an equation for pH in terms of H+. So let's write that equation down. Now we've been given the concentration of hydrogen ions. So the only unknown is pH. So we can go ahead and fill in our numbers here. So pH is equal to negative log of concentration of hydrogen ions from the question, which was 3.16 times 10 to the power of negative six molar. So if we go ahead and put that into our calculator, that gets us a pH of 5.50. Let's go ahead and fill that in here. Awesome. So we know our pH. Now we want to find the pOH. So let's head back to our reference sheet. Here's our equation for converting between pH and pOH at 25 degrees C. pH plus pOH is equal to 14. In this question, we know the pH and we're trying to find the pOH. So I'm going to rearrange this question to get pOH. So I'm going to subtract pH from both sides of my equation. That means the pH is on the left are going to cancel out. We're left with pOH is equal to 14 minus pH. So we can put our numbers. pOH is equal to 14 minus pH, which was 5.50. So putting that into our calculator, we're going to get a pOH of 8.50. So we can fill that out here. Awesome. Okay, finally we're asked, is the solution acidic, basic, or neutral? Now, since our pH is less than 7, that's telling us it's acidic. Similarly, our pOH is greater than 7. That's also telling us it's acidic. So is the solution acidic, basic, or neutral? This time it's acidic. Let's do one more question of this type. In this question, a student again has a sample of unknown solution. They measure the pH as 8.24 at 25 degrees C. This time we're trying to figure out the concentration of hydrogen ions, H+, and the pOH, and whether the solution is acidic, basic, or neutral. So firstly, to get the concentration of hydrogen ions, we're using the same equation. This time we know the pH and we're trying to find the concentration of H+. So first we're going to have to rearrange this equation to get H+, on its own. So firstly, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1 to get rid of the minus sign on the right. So that gives me negative pH is equal to log H+. Then I need to get rid of the log. Now log is the inverse of 10 to the power of. So if I do 10 to the power of negative pH and 10 to the power of log H plus, 10 to the power of is the inverse of log. So those will cancel out, leaving us with 10 to the negative pH is equal to the concentration of H plus. So we can go ahead and calculate the concentration of H plus by putting that in our calculator. So 10 to the power of negative, the pH is 8.24 from the question up here. If we put that on our calculator, we're going to get a concentration of H plus ions of 5.75 times 10 to the power of negative 9 molar. So let's go ahead and fill that out here. Remember on this platform, to write scientific notation answers, we need to use E for times 10 to the power of. So 5.75 times 10 to the power of E, negative 9. Awesome. Okay, so we've got the concentration of hydrogen ions, H+. 
Next, we're finding the pOH. We're going to use this equation for that since we know the pH already. So I'm going to subtract pH from both sides because I want to rearrange to get pOH. That will cancel on the left, giving me pOH is equal to 14 minus pH. So I can substitute in my numbers. 14 minus pH, which is 8.24. That's going to give me a pOH of 5.76. So we can fill that in over here. Next, we're asked, is the solution acidic, basic, or neutral? Well, we can see here our pH is 8.24, which is greater than 7. And our pOH is 5.76, which is less than 7. That's telling us we have a basic solution. So in these questions, you're either going to be given the concentration of H plus science, and you're using that to calculate the pH, or the other way around, you're given the pH and you're using that to calculate the concentration of hydrogen ions. So you're going to be using this equation here for that. Then you'll be converting between pH and pOH, exactly the same as the previous skill, using this equation down here. Finally, if the pH is greater than 7 and the pOH is less than 7, that makes it a basic solution. On the other hand, if the pH is less than 7 and the pOH is greater than 7, that makes it an acidic solution. If pH and pOH are both equal to 7, that's a neutral solution.